Because these are going to be spec homes or to be built homes, I thought it would be a good idea to, to show the floor plan so people get an idea of the design features that I put into this house and what makes this house different in the layout, in the, the way things are, are thought about in the plans. Hey, um, this is Gordon Lindsay. I'm here at the 25 Sandstone uh, layout of the property. Uh, I just want to go through it with prospective buyers so that they see what's going on. I can give you a little layout. The street here, sandstone comes around a corner right here. There's some open space in front of the house. And this house will be raised up above the ground about three feet with a ramp that comes up along the wall to a point about here to the, to the courtyard. So you'll enter through the courtyard to, a, to an area where the front door is. What this is designed to do is that you have a lot of outdoor space. It takes the views of Thunder Mountain and Chimney Rock from this area. The, those views are also seen through lots of glass windows from the living room, dining room, kitchen area. You come into a great room here with a foyer. This is going to be a wet bar, coat closet, a big open kitchen, living room, dining room space, thermidor appliances, Lots and lots of glass. All these, all this, this house is full of glass so that you can take into account every single view. For, for instance, if you're here in the living room, dining room, you have, as I said, the Thunder Mountain view, but you also have a view out towards Cathedral Rock. And in this direction, you have a view towards the Mogian Rim. So, so the, we, we positioned these houses and designed each house for each lot. So no house will look the same. They will have design elements that tie them together and you can go, you'll be able to see this is a soaring kite home, but you will not walk into another house that is designed exactly this way. So you're gonna have a unique home. I'll walk you through some of the rooms. The bedroom, the master bedroom, it, uh, you're, as with all the bedrooms, fit a king size bed against a, a, a set wall so that you know which wall the bed's going to be on and it, it fits a king size bed with nice large nightstands on either side. The, this room actually has a, a window seat so that you can sit and read um, and just relax in your room if you want to. The rooms are not oversized. What I did is I made the bathrooms large and the closets large so that all your, all your clothes are in and your wardrobes and everything are in the closet. So, so your, your bedroom is uncluttered. There's, there could be a window seat or, the, or a large chaise lounge or something for you just to relax or toss some clothes off when you, when you go into the room to go to bed. Um, some things that I've thought about in the bathrooms are I designed the bathroom starting with where is the towel bar going to be for when you get out of the shower. I don't know how many times I have gotten into a shower and then finished and realized that the towel bar is you know, nowhere near where I get out of the shower and I have to traipse across the room, usually in a cold room, to go get the towel. <laughs> in, in the rooms, the bedrooms, there's a door to the bedroom and everywhere else within the, in, within the bedroom is a sliding door because you can choose to close it or not close it. You're in your own private space. All the plans have a large pantry as well as uh, ample, ample storage area, a big island. Um, again, here another bedroom, a half bath, another bedroom. It's got an entrance to a closet here. The, the same entrance here through the bathroom, all pocket doors, toilet rooms in every, every bathroom. There's windows in the bathrooms that are in, and in showers that are designed to be at chest height so you can feel comfortable taking a shower without feeling exposed. A lot of the designs you'll see in bathrooms have these one foot wide slit windows and they're designed to give you light in the bathroom and also to give you privacy and again they, are, they, they don't start up until chest height at about 54 inches so you don't feel like you have to close, close blinds and, and so forth to be, have privacy. They're also designed so that you can fit a squeegee in there and clean the glass and it fits, it fits an, a, a reasonably sized squeegee. Another feature is large um, utility rooms that, that have a sp ample space for washer and dryer, refrigerator. Most of the, every, the counters in the kitchen and in the laundry room are 30 inch deep so that you have a deeper counter. Um, you know, a lot of times you put stuff, especially in the kitchen, in the back six inches of the counter and you're only left with 18 inches worth of workspace where you can still do, put your six inches worth of, you know, 
toaster and knife holders and wine glasses and a bottle of wine and you still have the 24 inches depth of a counter to work on. There is one design change that we are going to do on this plan and that is we're going to make the entrance from the garage to the house a separate hallway so that if you did have guests that came in with you, you're not going through the utility room. You're just going directly from the garage to, to the main, main hallway. This is a big art gallery hallway that, that has lots of multiple places to hang art as well as be able to see that art you know, inside and outside. Um, again, you know, all the bedrooms have their own bathrooms, walk-in closets. Um, the, every room has nice views. Uh, the garages are oversized. They're all 18-foot wide doors instead of the standard 16-foot. Eight-foot high doors so you can get an SUV in with no problem. And they're all about 22 feet or more deep so you can fit a large car with no problem at all in, in the garage. There will also be your know, tankless water heater, um, central vacuum, and also the, the 220 charging station for an electric car. We have designed, if you see in this, this plan, the garage is towards the back. Well, this area of, the piece, of this particular piece of property had a terrible view from this, from this location. So that's where the garage went. We didn't lose any optimal views by, by wasting space with the garage. And again, I'll go, this is Thunder Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Chimney Rock, uh, Mogian, Mogian Rim. You can see um, Coffee Pot from here, all the way out to uh, Cathedral Rock this way. You have multiple views, and, and that's what the Sedona Living's all about, is a beautiful lot, a beautiful home with fantastic views.